What about this? Is Google redefining the word patriot? Well, social media users noticing the word defined by the search engine as one who loves and supports his or her country. But the synonyms listed under that definition on Google include nationalist, loyalist, isolationist, or xenophobe. So has big tech finally gone too far? Here to react, host of Dear America podcast and Army veteran Graham Allen. Graham, thank you so much for joining us this morning to respond to this. We appreciate it. Thank you for having me. So people very outraged over this online. What do you think about it? Well, I think it's not the first time Google has done something. I remember a couple months back, the uh, anti-abortion film Unplanned was listed as propaganda on Google. So this isn't the first time that big tech has tried to change the narrative or change what words actually mean. And it's funny, I'm actually speaking at a summit here in DC for Turning Point USA, and I said the same thing to them that I'm gonna say right now. Patriotism is not racism, it's not bigotry, it's not xenophobia, it's not any of those things. It's simply loving America. And I, for one, am tired of having to apologize for loving this great country that we live in. Who would have ever thought that we would live in a day where you would have to apologize for loving America. Yeah. You have to believe that this spawns on the back of all of these illegal immigration talks or the squad telling you that the president has issues with women of color. It has nothing to do with any of those things. A patriot loves uh, immigration. A great American is a legal immigrant. Being a patriot is simply loving this country. It and really I, for one, am happy that we have a president that says, if you don't like this country, then get out. Yeah. So people definitely keep giving us your opinion on that and give them to Google as well. Uh, let's take a look at this next uh, piece of video, though. This is shocking. Not only people in New York City, but people all over the country. These New York City police officers getting drenched by buckets of water while on duty. Watch this. Oh my God, they came over here to talk to them that they violated. Yo, they violated them. They violated them. No, they violated them. Oh, they not stopped. I mean, Graham, watch their restraint as they just keep walking away from these folks who are just dumping water on their heads. Uh, that could, as Carly and, and I were just discussing, what if that hadn't been water and then the people laughing about it? Yeah, I, I think if I've said it once, I'll say it a million more times. God bless our men and women that decide to wear a badge. I think that this, I mean, <laughs> I'm not a police officer, but obstruction, harassment, inciting of violence are just a few things I can think of when I see that. My immediate reaction to this is the bigger issue I have is the people that are actually filming this mm -hmm. and this societal norm that we're having to where the police are actually the problem, whereas it really should be our obligation as citizens to help our police and to uh, facilitate a area to where our police are actually able to effectively do their job yeah. not this this it is really not is, this is not what's supposed to it's happen it's unreal that it's gone this far uh, NYPD has now responded to this videos uh, in the response they say uh, many of you have seen police officers being targeted with buckets of water although the police department is building relationships with the community there is a line that cannot be crossed Lost. But you know what? Those police officers, if they got called today, if they got called 30 minutes after that happened, they would be right back in that community They'd be right saving there. lives. Exactly. There, there is nothing more selfless than a man or a woman that is willing to put on a badge, put on a uniform every single day and protect the very people that apparently hate them for doing so. Unreal. Lots more responses coming around this today, no doubt as well. Graham Allen, thank you so much for joining us. It was great to have you with us. Thanks for having me.